Right, so the day has come that I go wild camping in the van. Um, let's see what happens. What if I get like told to go away by a police officer or something? Or like Jeff just turns up and starts saying, can you move on please? Because uh, I'm not a very confrontational person, so that should be quite funny. Anyway, so I'm waiting for Andy to turn up. Um, so then we can set off to go to the lakes. He is staying in a campsite in his tent. If the campsite is full, uh, he's going to go camp on the fells. And I'm going to camp in a car park in Langdale. Um, so yeah, it's all a bit unknown at the moment. Um, I'll not lie, if there is a uh, space at the campsite, I'll probably just camp there. So what am I taking? I'll show you. I'm taking boots and also a backpack that's got all my stuff for walking in. So it's got like waterproof jackets, uh, my dinner, although my dinner's in the fridge in the back of the van, um, and uh, various bits like first aid kit and spare shoelaces, things like that. Things that you would need if you're going on a hike, stuff like that. And then in the side, again, all I've done, oh, trying not to break my van. All I've done here is just pack the fridge uh, with necessary items. So milk, a couple of shakes, my dinner for the fells. The battery stayed absolutely fine. The solar's kicked in now, so that's pretty much indefinite. I've got the extra water going on here. I've also filled the water up for the normal uh, thing for washing hands, brushing teeth, things like that. Uh, I've got my coffee and all my bits. The food is in that cupboard as it normally is. If you will have watched any of the other videos, you realize that I put all my uh, food in that bit. Toilet's ready to go. Um, I filled up with fuel and I think we're ready to go. Right, so we're off. Uh, Andy got to mine, he's packed the van and then he realized he'd forgotten his walking boots, which is kind of essential when you're going walking. So we've had to nip to his house in Horsforth um, and then we're on our way to uh, the Langdales. It's saying two hours and 33 minutes on the sat nav because apparently there's a shed load of um, uh, traffic on the A65. Yeah, so uh, we're going to avoid that massively. Uh, but then we should be there hopefully pretty soon. There's a lot of people looking at me now and I always feel weird when I'm talking to camera. So anyway, yeah, so we shouldn't be too long uh, before we set off properly and um, we'll see you. The, I don't think there'll be any B-roll getting there because Andy's not very good at filming, I don't think, but I'll see if he can do it. I'll give it a go anyway. <laughs> okay, see you later, bye. Almost at Windermere and uh, Andy's just nipped into the shop to get some more supplies. I think he thinks he's going here for about four weeks and uh, we're pulled up in a garage that sells a lot of camper vans. Check this. What's really annoying is that massive camper van there is worth less than this VW and it's five times the size. I think I've basically just bought a badge. <laughs> right, so we've arrived at a place called, I think, Bayes Brown Campsite. Um, and it looks absolutely empty. Um, fingers crossed, Andy's just gone in now to go see if there's a space for us to camp. I think they're staying two nights in tents, whereas I can just pull up my van next to where they're going and then we've got a bit of a, an encampment going on, which would be really nice, because then it saves a lot of messing around me wild camping over at Old Dungeon Gill. Um, and just a lot of hassle really more than anything else the uh the road in was really interesting i literally thought it was just a walkway i didn't even think it was a a road uh, and then it turns into a natural road and stuff like that but anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what's available campsite wise and if there isn't something available i'll be pretty upset here we go look at this I 
mean, that's not that's not busy, that is it? I, I wouldn't say that that was fully booked, would you? I mean, it's pretty windy, I'll be honest, so I'll probably leave the lid down. Or I'll put it down when I go to bed, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. I'll, I'll stay here, I don't have to hunker down, I don't have to wild camp, and I don't have to um, be in fear of being moved on by said authorities, which is great. I know it do not probably make as good a video because I'm not doing a wild camp, but there are plenty of wild camps coming. Um, there's a, on my other channel, Jovial Campers, there's a, um, a wild camp up in the fells as well that we're going to be doing soon, so keep an eye out for that. Skip across to Jovial Campers. Uh, that's coming up in the next sort of four weeks, I think. So we're doing it in about two or three weeks, and I've got to edit the video and post it. Uh, I'll put a link on the uh, Yorkshire Popped Up Adventures website for that one. Andy's back anyway. Have we got in? Any of the hard standings. Is that what you said? Yeah, tenner. Ace! Is it electric or is it just hard standing? Hard standing. That's totally fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. So any of them, yeah? Yeah, I'll have a look when Dave gets here, Alaska. Because what, what might work best is wherever you're going to be if I'm close by. And then we'll yeah, we'll work it like that. I'll have a wander around now. We'll have a walk around and see what works. All right, awesome. Right, okay. So I don't know if you noticed on the uh, video while we're talking to Andy, he says just go on any hard standing. So we're going to try and find one that's nearest where they will have their tents plugged in, but not plugged in tents, pinned in with the pins, whatever they're called. Sorry, I've turned into a proper van man, and I? I've forgotten how to put up a tent. So I reckon, yeah, let's have a quick look. Anyway, this is the campsite. This is pretty cool. They've got showers by the looks of it and toilets, which is nice. Relative luxury compared to what we're going to be doing. There's a nice dub there, which is lovely. There's another dub just down there. There's a really nice touring caravan just there, which I'm going to go check out in a minute. Um, right, okay, so just need to find a hard standing and somewhere to go. Nice. Right, guys, um, I've been talking about this chap called Andy all the way through the video. He does exist. He's there. He's a nice chap. He's a lovely, lovely lad. So yes, we are not wild camping today. We are on an actual campsite and this is the extent of the space that is our backyard, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Far enough away from anybody to even bother anybody tonight. Uh, it does say be quiet from half 10, which is pretty usual and normal for uh, any campsite really in the UK, which is ace. We are a gazillion miles away from the uh, toilet. So if anyone gets up in the morning and needs an instant crap, I'm all right, because I've got a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the check this view out. This is the view that we have got from our setup. Oh, that's decent, that isn't it? That's proper decent. So yeah, uh, basically they need to set up because I'm already ready. All right. Hello. You all right? Yeah, Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I reckon you're nearly up, Andy. What's the erection time on that bad boy? Uh, a couple of loop pills, probably five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we are all camped up. Um, it didn't take them long to put their tents up. They got them up eventually. Um, a cup of coffee on go. Um, I've popped the top, because uh, I might as well. The wind's coming that way, so it's going over the top. It's Friday, so... Uh, I've got a feeling that people finish work and then get here a little bit later. This campsite is uh, first come first serve, so it's not something you can phone and book. Um, the toilets and showers and everything like that are a long way away from where we are camped up. So ideally, really, you need to have either your own supply of water for showers or your own shower cubicle or toilet or camp closer to the shower blocks, which you can also do as well. I mean, it's pretty much a uh, find your spot. Um, the chap who uh, we booked it off said um, just go find a hard stand in and park your van you can't pull the van onto the grass um, all the grassed areas have got um, poles in them so you can't pull onto the grass which is fine because I think it probably gets boggy and they don't want to be pulling cars out of the uh, fields when they uh, eventually will get stuck there's a couple of e-dubs about there's one just behind me there's one over there in the corner I'm going to get some tea on the go. What uh, Andy and David have done actually, they have nipped out to uh, the co-op, which is just down the road, um, probably about half a mile in the car, just to get a few more supplies because Andy likes to oversupply. And then we've also realised that uh, Dave hasn't brought any snacks for tomorrow. So it would seem that they are quite newbie at this. <laughs> I thought I was a newbie. Um, but anyway, so we're all ready to go. Like I say, the coffee's on. Um, Kind of. As windy as it's going to get, but my uh, cover's coming off at the front there, look. 
So I might need to uh, try and attach that a little bit better. Let's give it a go. Right, so um, it's now time for bed. Uh, I've got this jacket on because we've been stood outside for a bit. Uh, watching other people set up their tents late at night which has been amusing shall we say um, and I'm sure everybody does it out there as well so yeah a um, couple of beers a bit of a chat and uh, now time to uh, get wrapped up and ready to go to sleep and we'll see you in the morning for the walk should be good fun see you in a bit bye so the one thing I said to myself don't forget Colin I've forgotten so I've forgotten my pillow <laughs> morning pretty good sleep last night um, I don't think my friends did in their tents um, because it threw it down and was quite windy um, not that I'm boasting or anything <laughs> I'm climbing up to a place called Crinkle Crags and uh, it's a pretty substantial amount of climbing and a bit of walking and the rain's on and off just eating the porridge out of the pan saves a saves a cleaning a pot up doesn't it <laughs> so Andy knocked his jet boil over last night, soaked his tent, brilliant. Um, so we're on the GoPro today because the weather's a bit changeable and my camera's very expensive. Um, we came on the path to try and find the route that we're on. Uh, Dave's navigating has already gone wrong, um, we haven't even started climbing yet. And we've come to go to the bridge at Langdale and it's uh, disappeared. So I am now fully off path and ready to bear grills it across this raging torrent of water. I reckon we'll get across there. If not, it'll be funny. Uh, Dave, because you made the uh, navigational error, you get to go first. So off you go. <laughs> okay then, in your oh, own time. Arrow, in your, oh, okay. <laughs> Slight deviation. There's a bit of a bridge, so we'll go find that. Nice. So, All you're right, going for it. Yeah, I do as well, go for it. Go for it. You, if I go over, are you guys following? Yes, 100%. I reckon we can do this. reach the other side but yeah. let's see what he does when he gets there <laughs> <laughs> is that not jumpable no uh. he's throwing it down Lovely, come for a nice quiet walking lake, they said. Wow, as soon as we got across that river, it's literally an assault on the legs. Up, up, up and up. But it's good exercise though, isn't it? Good for the heart, good for the mind, good for the soul. And I already apologise for the wind noise. I wasn't prepared for that video wise today so it might not be great audio and I'll try and do bits to camera where it's not so windy here comes the rain again but before it does those that are new to walking especially on the fells you'll find these around a lot big piles of stones now they are called cairns and they mark the route when the path's not obvious so if you always go towards a cairn you're pretty much on the right route I'm going to put my head up now. Don't want to damage the cliff.
out, we're on our way back down. Uh, it got a bit sketchy at one point uh, when we were going over the first crinkle crag um, because the path seemed to just disappear and go on this weird kind of non-path kind of angle <laughs> nearly fell yeah so that took a, a weird turn so I thought to myself I'm not going to film there because it's probably more important that um, I concentrate on not falling off a massive cliff um, so yeah we did that um, just literally just had some lunch now because having lunch at the top would have just been grim um, it's like a different walk completely compared to the walk going up if you like this sort of thing don't forget to like and subscribe uh, hopefully we'll get on some weekend pop top adventures with the family get to more campsites show you those and what's going on there hey, yep, this is a bit of a dodgy path walk that was uh, again sorry about the audio sorry about the video I've had to use the uh, the GoPro uh, on this trip uh, I don't even know if I'm in shot there um, so yeah it's been ace it's been wet it's been tough and it's been fun as well I mean I'm no stranger to uh, bad weather on the fells and I'm sure many of you guys aren't either but um, but yeah it's been funny it's been super wet as you saw and but the beauty about it is I came back to the van I dropped the lads off at the campsite because they're staying another night Andy is a broken man he fell over and twisted his knee so he's not doing any walking tomorrow bless him um, but the beauty about having the van is once I dropped the guys off I went to find a, a place to pull over and got absolutely everything changed so all of my wet gear came off got put in the um, I'm just going to open the window because I'm steaming up a bit uh, got put in my rucksack out of the way so it's not going to condense in the van and you know create wetness in the van you don't really want that so that's all out of the way I got fully changed made myself a cup of coffee and uh, now I'm ready to drive home and I feel great because I know I'm dry I feel good and everything's clean and nice I actually feel like I've had a shower like mother nature shower I've been uh, I've been soaked that much uh, with rain uh, one thing also to mention as well is that that campsite that we were at, brilliant, £10 a night, you can't ask for more than that can you? Um, I was basic and we were miles away from the toilets but having had this toilet I was okay um, and therefore one night didn't really need the showers so I can go home and have a shower now or oh, the mother nature shower that I just had and um, it was fine, £10 a night, you can't really go wrong if you, I mean I wouldn't go on my summer holidays there but I'll certainly use that campsite again um, to go to and um, go for walks with friends and things like that um, it's first come first serve so if you get there early enough in the day I mean you will have seen on the video how how many spaces there were um, I think that you'd have to be pretty unlucky to get there and it'd be absolutely full to the brim so bear that in mind uh, they don't take bookings so you can't ring them a book and it is just like camp where you like if you're in the van you've got to be on a hard standing which is even better so you're not going to get stuck in the mud um and then yeah yeah the solar using the solar pan panel and the bowden's generator has actually worked perfectly for me so driving over here obviously the engine charged the leisure battery to full and then when we got parked up obviously the fridge is on uh we've got a bit of music on the lights are on because uh, obviously it got dark pretty quickly and then I'm obviously charging my phone and stuff so that 90 amp hour battery which I know is small it's uh, on the cards to change it um, the 90 amp battery uh, now, nye, nye, put my teeth back in that 90 amp hour battery uh, doesn't last very long so what I did is I then charged it up with the Bowden's generator that had been charged up fully by solar which then charged up the leisure battery to full with still two bars left so I still had two bars left as a just in case like get me out of jail free but then obviously having had the van packed up in the car park all day while we have been walking it's charged up the there's a dub there we go we're waving yay uh, there's a uh, while it's been charging you see it's fully charged the Bowden's generator again uh, which means that I could probably go off grid again knowing that I could use the Bowden's generator to then do another night um, <laughs> What would it be like, I suppose, if the whole family was here charging up all their phones and iPads and various bits of tech? 
Um, I'm not sure. So we, that that obviously brings me on to the fact that I'm going to get another leisure battery, a larger leisure battery, maybe like a 120. I think a 120 would be absolutely fine, and maybe an AGM. So then if it does drop too low, uh, it's not going to damage the battery as much as a lead acid one, which is the one that I've got. It has to be low profile as well because it's underneath the seat. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description below to the um campsite that I stayed at and or a link to Google so you can pin it on the map. Bear in mind, right, if you've got right this just fit down the lane that goes to it. And it's a really kind of you don't even know it looks like a walker's path. Uh, and you go down it and you think, am I supposed to be driving down here? And then you go around the corner, it's a little bit bumpy, you have to go pretty slow. Um, and then it goes over this like walker's bridge, which is like a super super humpy bridge, if that's a technical term for it. Uh, and then, then eventually it goes into like a like a lovely tarmac bit of drive. Um, so yeah, there was one quite big hymer down there. I'm not 100% sure how we got down there. 100% kudos goes to that chap who got it down there because I I felt nervous taking my van down there. Um, I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with that path, obviously, but just bear that in mind. It's a bit bumpy. Take it steady. Um, and I think that's everything. That is everything, I think. So this is the latest Pop Top Adventures. Uh, what we're going to do soon is get some more adventures out. Weekends, maybe our off-season adventures. Uh, maybe if there's some campsites that we can get into as a family uh, out of season, that'll be ace. Maybe one near Christmas as well. That should be pretty cool. We're gonna, what we'll do is we'll explore every campsite that we can and, and we'll tell you honestly whether it's something that we like or don't like or what we like and don't like about it because we're not sponsored by these places. Uh, and even if it does come to the point where a campsite asks us to come and video their campsite, we'll be honest. You know, there's no point. You know, there's no point saying it's great when it's not, because you guys are going to go there and you're going to be disappointed. So you can't do anything about the clientele, obviously. But you know, amenities and space and things like that. So anyway, like and subscribe. I will shut up now and stop waffling. Apologies again for the quality of the video and potentially the audio um, after I stopped using the other camera um, stay safe and I shall speak to you soon see you later bye <laughs>